Welcome to Beyond the Horizon podcast, a show all about the Horizon ecosystem and the exciting world of blockchain and Web3. Join us as we explore the latest happenings in this rapidly evolving space and discover new horizons together. Now let's go Beyond the Horizon. Hi everyone, welcome. Today we are excited to bring in Bones, one of the founding members of Ascent Exchange. They will be bringing their protocol to Eon and we are excited to learn more about what they're building. Before we get into that, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, your background in the Web3 space, anything you'd like to highlight? Hey guys, my name is Bones. I'm, I'm one of the founding members of Ascent Exchange. Uh, we are bringing um, all sorts of, of swaps to Eon. We'll be integrating our, our, our standard uni swap B2, stable swaps, and concentrated liquidity to Eon. Um, myself, I am a, a, a longtime crypto native. I've, I've been in the space for over 10 years now. Um, been able to be fortunate enough to work on a, a, a few large projects. On, and this is our expansion uh, to really bringing a, a great DEX experience to the, the uh, Eon protocol and Eon community. Amazing. Thank you so much. And, you know, you touched on it there. Can you please uh, tell us a bit more about Ascent Exchange, you know, the services you provide, kind of some differentiators to your product and just explain a little bit more to our community what's going to be coming on to Eon soon? Sure. Uh, Ascent has the, the vote escrow system for token emissions and token voting. So basically what that means is every single liquidity pool or gauge um, will be uh, basically handing out AEX tokens to whoever would, would, would provide that um, liquidity. And one of the, 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 the really great things about this model is that if if, if somebody were to add liquidity, they, they would earn AEX tokens. Uh, and then the, they can take those AEX tokens and then they can, they can lock them up for up to two years. And, and by locking them up, they, they receive what's called a, a vote escrow AEX token or a BE AEX. And that, that gives them... Um, the option to collect trading fees and to also vote for their their favorite gauges. So if, if, if someone were to use one of their their BEAX tokens to vote for a, a, a specific gauge, let's say the Zen USDC, um, if if that that Zen USDC gauge would receive let's say twenty percent of, of the outstanding votes for that for that period, uh, that 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 next period or or e epoch as we call it, they would uh, they would basically give uh, twenty percent of the AEX emissions for that that next week to that Zen USDC gauge. It really puts the power of the uh, DEX into the hands of the token holders and the overall community. So when 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 organizations join uh, the, the the DEX, they're they're, they're going to want to have uh, the BEAX tokens. That way they can vote for their own pairs and then they can, uh, you know, increase the APRs for their gauges. Um, and then something that's that's also great for it for this is we, we, we have the option where we're protocols or or individuals can add with what's called a, a, a bribe to one of those pools. So um, every time somebody trades, those, those, those trading fees are, are collected for the gauge and, and they and they could be collected once per week or, or, or once per, per epoch by, by voting for that gauge. So if, if a protocol uh, wants to increase the, the APR or increase the AEX to that pool, what they can do is, is they can add a bribe to that, to that gauge or, or, or that pool. So let's say that, that that gauge had collected like $1,000 worth of, of trading fees. They can add an, an extra, let's say, two or, or $3,000 to that gauge. And, 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 and then what, what happens there is that that voting APR or that, that potential earning for, for that user increases dramatically, which should, you know, have more votes for that gauge, more, more votes for that pair, which would then increase the, the APRs for that gauge. Uh, which would, would then increase the liquidity because people would, would, would want to chase those APRs. And since liquidity uh, increases, the, the trading volume should increase. And since trading volume increases, then uh, fees are, are, are increased, which then would, you know, that, 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 that next gauge would then also increase the potential earnings. So that's, that, that's what we call the uh, uh, flywheel effect. So as, as price increases, li liquidity increases, APRs increase, so everything, everything just, just goes up and to the right. That's uh, that's literally exactly how I was about to describe it. It's like you've created your own flywheel effect there. Um, that's really neat. Specifically, I'm curious, like with the bribing side of things. So, I mean, I think that's super important, especially since we're a new chain. There's going to be a significant amount of projects coming out natively, launching a native token. Um, so that's super important. How, with that bribe system, 
is that something that's easy for like anyone to go in and do, or is that something they have to work with your team to, to handle? So for example, maybe that's, maybe I'm coming in and I want to bribe a token that I'm not on the team of, I'm just like a large holder of that token. Is that something that I'm able to do by creating my own pools and adding that bribe? Or is that something you have to work directly with that protocol? Great question. So, um, in order to add bribes to a pool, uh, those, the, that, that, that gauge would, would have to be basically, uh, 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 whitelisted. So being, being, being whitelisted means it, it is a, 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 a gauge or a pool that is previously, you know, vetted and, um, and, and, and added by the, by the, uh, team. So, um, you know, we, we, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be having any like, like, like scam tokens added to the, to the decks and then they would add on bribes and then they would scam it. So they would, they would have to go through the, uh, uh betting process first. But, but, but once that, that gauge is, is whitelisted and added to the, the decks, um, Anybody can can add add bribes to that. So if if you were a, a a core supporter for the project, whether you liked AEX or 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 some other project, you can add your own bribe to that if you wanted to. All right, one more one more follow up on that. Sorry, Brian. Um, so that that makes complete sense, and that's good that there's those safeguards there for sure. Um, when bribing a pool, does that bribe have to be um, in that pool's token, or could it be with another whitelisted? with another token that you guys have whitelisted. So you could you could use any token to bribe. You can use you can use stable coins, you can use you could use Zen, you can use AEX, you can use your own your own projects tokens. You can also bribe with LPs too. So if, if you wanted to bribe with, with those um, um, LPs, you can also add that. So really, really anything of a of value can be added as a bribe. All right. I'm good there. That's awesome. I I really love that idea. Amazing. Amazing. And just to kind of continue on here, um you know, is there anything that you would like to highlight that your project's working on for the next quarter or the next few quarters? Anything exciting, you know, that we, uh, our community should be on the lookout for? Anything you want to highlight, kind of touch on a little more? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so this is this is something that, that our team has been working on since April of, of 2023. Uh, you know, we had we had first started uh, this this decks to actually launch on, on, on Polygon. Um, but as we were we were watching the, 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 the space and, and watching the, the market, we saw we saw too many too many competitors that were that were too close to actually what what we what we were trying to do, um, and so we, we we were looking for the for the for the best home for for what we had actually built, and you know luckily we we had we we had come across uh, the uh, uh, Eon team, you know talking with 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 you guys has been has been fantastic, so what what we're aiming to to, to do is to bring all of our our, our partnerships and, and and network, you know from Polygon from from BNB Chain from from Ether bring them onto Eon as, as founding liquidity members for, for the, uh, decks. And so what, what, what's going to happen for those projects is, is if they choose to, to join us and add their primary liquidity to our decks, uh, they can receive a, a generous allocation of, of VEAX tokens. So that way they can instantly start voting for their, for, for their gauges, for their, for their tokens. Um, and then also by, by, by joining their, their, uh, uh, community will also get a, a, a nice little airdrop of the AEX tokens as well. So that way, not only can the, can the project vote for them, but also their, their, their overall community can also come in to, to vote too. Uh, so our, our, our goal is, is to, is to, is to be like a, like a liquidity basically basin for, for Eon and, and to bring liquidity from, from different chains to Eon to, to us and to really, really try to grow the, the whole Eon pie. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And that's, I mean, I think that's why this partnership is going to end up working out so well. Um, and yeah, good uh, good use of the word airdrop there. You just caught everybody's attention. Listen, uh -huh. <laughs> absolutely. And you know, we've been we've we've been working very hard um, on this project. Uh, we are are fortunate that we have a, a close relationship with with the the uh, Eon team, so that way you know we can be one of the the, the uh, uh, core marketing partners. And we've also been been working with uh, professional liquidity managers so uh we, we will be having you know seven eight hopefully nine nine figures worth of, of of tvl on the deck soon after launch amazing amazing exciting stuff here and um kind of to to follow up there for our community that's listening what's the best way for them to keep up with what you guys are working on um you know certain social platforms you focus on or just just the best way to keep up with what's going on with ascent exchange 
Absolutely. So I would say first off, be sure to follow us on Twitter. Um, our, our, our Twitter is very active. Uh, we have a number of, of different ways for the uh, community to get involved with our our socials. Um, so right now we, we are opening up our ambassador program. We have roughly 300 ambassadors in that program currently. So if you have a, a social following of a, at least 200 on, on Twitter, uh, you can ask to to join. Uh, so we, we, we give out prizes to the to the best ambassadors for Ascent. Uh, we also have a, a, a very uh, a, a very popular Zeely. So we have a, a couple hundred people in our, our Zeely campaigns. Uh, so so be sure to follow us on, on Twitter. We are at Ascent Exchange on Twitter. Uh, we are also on Telegram, and we have a very active Discord as well. So if you go to our our, our, our Twitter, all of our, our links are there. Um, and as we are gearing up for, for launch here, uh, basically as soon as assets can be on chain, uh, we, we are, are able to start adding liquidity uh, and, and swapping. And soon we'll be uh, having our, our, our AEX token sale announcement. So that way, if, if, if anybody wants to, to participate and, and join us, uh, they can be one of the first holders of the AEX token. Definitely go give them a follow. Um, I'm going to check out that ambassador program myself. Though I'm not sure if I have enough followers. <laughs> I think we can, um, think we can get you in. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But in addition to that, like if you're listening, um, we're definitely, we're going to be running some on chain campaigns with you guys as well. Um, so look out for those in addition to what you guys are already doing. Awesome. Awesome. All righty. Well, that was really it for the interview question. So before we end here, is there anything else that you would like to share? With our community, anything else you're excited for, looking forward towards as we're gearing towards this launch? I would say, guys, thank you so much for having me. Uh, you know, be sure to follow us on, on Twitter. Be sure to join the, the Telegram and our, our Discord. Um, I know we're going to be holding uh, lots of, of fun contests and things for everybody to get involved with Ascent. Um, so we're, we're just really looking forward to to launching this, this, this Dex and, and being one of the, the first projects on Eon. Love it, man. We are happy to have you and everyone. That handle is at Accent Exchange. I definitely encourage you to get out there. And yeah, thank you so much for hopping on. It's been a pleasure thus far working with you guys, and I, I can't wait, um, you know, what the next couple of months are going to bring. Absolutely, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on Beyond the Horizon. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes as we continue to discover the limitless potential of the Horizon ecosystem. If you liked this episode, make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.